In today's video, we're opening my first PSA return in the last five months. What's up guys, we are finally back with another PSA return video where I have submitted over 50 cards and have gotten them graded. I'm super excited to see what we got because it's been so long since I've had my own PSA return come back. Let's get into it. But before we open it up, we have a giveaway. I'll be giving away this PSA 8, Change of Heart. This is a reprint from 2017. All you have to do, like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications, let me know your favorite card in the return. And have you guys been submitting to PSA recently? I've heard that they've been pretty rough recently, but obviously it's been a few months, so hopefully that's not the case here. If you guys are interested in any of these cards, a lot of these will be for sale on ruxin34.com. Click the link down below if you guys wanna grab some of these cards. A few will not be sold, but most of them will be available, so go check that out. Uh, there's also other stuff available like sealed boxes, other graded cards, etc. So if you wanna buy something on ruxin34.com, that comes directly from me. You're buying it from me, nobody else, so check that out. Okay, so cause this is so big, I'm gonna cut this open, the littler boxes out smaller boxes i guess is what you should say and then i'll be right back so inside because it was a little bit over 50 cards there's a smaller box which probably only has a few cards and then there's a 50 card box so i guess we'll start with the smaller one just to make it easier this one we can go ahead and chop into when they're in the big box is a little bit easier because they don't like tape it up like crazy so you can actually remove the cards i say that now i can't figure out how to open this thing there we go maybe this way never mind i oh yeah, the part where I cut, that's how, that's where you open it. That makes sense. Okay. All right, let's just go through these few and then we will get to the other one. They shouldn't be in any sort of order when you get them back to PSA. By the way, if you like PSA returns and you want to check out my other ones, we've done over 50 PSA returns on the channel. So go check out the playlist. There's a lot of old school cards, some that I still have, some that I don't, but it's just interesting to see when I got them and stuff. So go check that out. Let's start off with the first card. Uh, the back of this has got some scuffing on it. That's pretty normal. I did get some PSA sleeves, so I'm actually going to be able to sleeve up most of these. Let's see. Here we go. Oh, PSA 9 Dark Magician from SDY. I don't remember where a lot of these came from. This is probably some collection or something like that. I did pull a lot of these, so uh, we'll try to remember the memories as we go through it. But a PSA 9 is not a bad start for that. PSA 10 would have been really sweet. Okay, next card. Looks pretty clean on the back. Oh. We're starting off great with the 7. Okay. This one I did pull, I'm pretty sure. Uh, maybe not. Uh, is there a corner bin there? It's always hard to tell in these cases if there is, but okay, there won't be any like pre-grades or anything because there's a lot of cards here and a lot of them are pretty low value. So, okay, not great. Nine and a seven, let's see. An eight on the Zerato. So this one I don't think I did pull. So I'm not sure where some of these, I think I just went through some of my cards. There might be a little scuffing on the back, maybe. Yeah, it looks like there might be some back there. Yeah, definitely is some. I don't know why I submitted that then. Okay, that's kind of weird. All right, PSA 8 Zerato. Let's see what we got next. Dark. Oh, right out of the tin. Okay, so this one we definitely did pull. Dark Rebellion Exceeds. I thought this would have been a pretty cool PSA 10. Dang, that looks clean. I think the rate was like, it was only $13.99 to submit these. So it was like the cheapest it's been in a long time. I used to submit the, you know, cards for six, seven bucks back in the day. But, you know, it, since COVID, $14 is pretty good. So. I got excited and, and submitted them there. Let's see what's next. Jim Minton, our first one. Brotherhood of the Fire Fist, Tiger King. So that's awesome. Little promo from 2015 out of the tens. I really like the platinum rare. A lot of people don't like them. I think they look pretty awesome. So and at least you can read the card. I mean, a little bit, a little bit hard, but at least you can read it. Two left here. Let's get some else. A nine on the Susanoo. Another uh, platinum rare, platinum secret, whatever you want to call it. Last card before we get to the 50 card box. Ooh, a gem at 10 on On Ice Pendulum Dragon. That's beautiful. Very awesome. Right out of the tin. That is pretty cool. Okay, PSA 10, Platinum Rare, Pendulum. So, eh, but On Ice Pendulum Dragon is probably one of the coolest pendulums ever made. Okay, let's slice this thing open and get to it. So we've already got 7, 8, 9, 10 to start off. So let's just see. What in the world? Does that back look like it's got... Okay, there we go. That was like, is that the card? I was like, no way I submitted that. Uh, we have, oh, a gem mint, 10 elemental hero, dark neos, very good start for the ultra rares in the second box. That's a nice card, ultra rare, dark neos, not the ulti, that'd be huge, but the ultra's pretty good, I'll take it, I'm not mad about that. Three tens so far, we got three nines, an eight, and a seven. Okay, next card, I like that, let's go 10, 10, 10, uh, okay, and nine, I'm the common sorcerer of dark magic out of the movie pack, unfortunate, it's just a common too, so. Centering is a little off on that, so that could be part of it. Uh, very nice card anyway. Very cool, common card. Let's see what else we can get. Can we get something else nice? Oh, Crystal Wing Synchro. I thought this one was clean. A PSA 9. A PSA 10 would have been sweet. From Ghost from the Past. Beautiful card. 
Maybe that's some scuffing I missed or something. Maybe, yeah, a little bit up top. I think I can see that. So yeah, that probably held it back. Still a nice looking nine though. Let's see what's next. A man eater bug, no! PSA 9 right out of the pack. Centering's a little off, so that makes sense. PSA 9's not bad for this card. We pulled it out of a very expensive pack. Uh, definitely not gonna, gonna go crazy in terms of value coming back, but it's still a pretty nice card. I mean, LLB first dead super, good stuff. Let's see what else. Ooh, injected very lily from retro pack two. I'm pretty sure this is one we opened. If you look at it, the centering looks pushed up a little bit, but I guess it wasn't too much. Injection fairy lily, very nice looking card. This was a super clean card, I remember. Very, very nice injection fairy lily. I think we pulled another one of those later. So that's a super sweet card. It's the best one we've pulled yet, probably. Even better than the Dark Neos. Let's see, the back looks clean on this as well. Ah, Buster Blader got a nine. That's a super though, so we'd probably rather have the 10 on the Ultra. Keep it going. What else do we have? More retro pack? Yeah, oh, an eight. Okay, I think I saw someone on the back here. I don't know if that's, that might be on the slab, but an eight is not good. Okay, Swift Guy, the Fierce Knight. Ultra rare, but that's okay. It's not a huge one. Uh, retro pack, so far, eight, nine, 10. Let's see what this one is. Another 10, my insect queen. Oh gosh, oh, I almost choked on that. Weevil Underwood. <laughs> I gotta work on that laugh. But still, Insect Queen, Weevil Underwood, good stuff. All right. Oh, a nine on that one. So we got a 10 on one Insect Queen. Weevil's not gonna be happy about this nine, but that's fine, Weevil. You can handle it. Next card is Destiny Board. Retro Pack 2, we're actually getting some good cards. All right, next card we have another Dark Neos. Let's go. We did pull a few of these when we were opening Power of the Duelist, so, you know, it makes sense we have some minty ones, but that's awesome. Two Gem Mint, 10 Dark Neos. That is, that's pretty sweet. Let's see what the next one will be. Oh! Cyberdark Dragon, yes, we're getting all the Ultras. So the Ultras we're pulling, they're actually doing pretty good. We got three Gem Mint 10s out of them. That is really nice out of those GX packs. Wow, okay, this is great. Just keep going, just keep doing this. Oh, Dreadmaster, no way. That is so awesome. Another Ultra Rare from GX, PSA 10. Dre uh, Destiny Hero Dreadmaster, not Elemental Hero. Didn't mean to disrespect you, Destiny Hero Dreadmaster, okay. We have an, okay, an eight on the rise. Rise of Destiny's tough, Rise of Destiny's tough, that's fine. Let's see what the next card will be. Imperial Order, original print. Is this a reverse? No, it's just a regular secret. Guess we pulled that at some point. I'm grading some unlimited stuff, you know, just because, it's not because it's crazy valuable, but just because. An eight on the SDP relinquish. Ooh, that's rough. Uh, it's not great. First dead, at least. Most of those are first dead, though. What else do we have? Uh, Serpent Knight, MRLE, okay. This is from the European uh, Magic Ruler pack that we opened up. Very nice card, got a nine, unfortunately, not the PSA 10, but a little bit center. Centering's pushed up a little bit, I should say. Looks good, but okay, let's get back to the 10 train. Come on, come on. Oh, Grand Neos, unlimited. We pulled this one out of Strike and Neos. I think the same opening as the Forbidden Yu-Gi-Oh card, maybe? It's pretty good. Next card, we have a Gem Mint 10, Odd Eyes Rebellion Dragon. Ultimate Rare, this isn't unlimited, but still, I think we pulled this one out of core as well. That is beautiful, Odd Eyes Rebellion. We're getting a lot of Odd Eyes, or not, or Pendulum, not Odd Eyes. Is that Odd Eyes? Pendulum? What was the other one? What's he called? The Pendulum Dragon. Is he an Odd Eyes Pendulum Dragon? I think he is. So we've had, yeah, two good Odd Eyes cards. I can't remember what anything is anymore. Another very nice PSA 10. Oh. Come on, the Soldier of Chaos. What do you do to deserve this? PSA 8, first dead. That's unfortunate. It's a beautiful card. It looks so good. Let's see what the next card's gonna be. Evelzar Dolka. Secret rare out of the 10. Unfortunately, not a PSA 10, just out of the 10. Maybe on this one we'll have luck. This seems like it's another PSA or a, a 10 promo. Excalibur 8, ouch. I know I have a few more of those promos, so let's see if we can get a better one. Oh! Oh, giant Trunade, first edition. Magic Ruler, I've graded, I feel like I've graded like five of these giant Trunades. That's amazing, I have great luck with Magic Ruler. It is a very nice set in terms of quality control compared to a lot of the other ones, so it makes sense that I've had better luck with it. But giant Trunade, very nice, that's a good card. Let's see what else we have. Garden Angel Joan, we pulled this one. I was hoping maybe a PSA 10. IOC first adds, it is a little tilted it looks like. So it's a little bit off centered on the top, not so much on the bottom, but uh, you know, PSA 9 is not bad. It's probably centering. Come on, give us something else awesome. Uh, Fiber Jar. It's unlimited. We pulled this one, but I figured I'd send it in because a centered LOD card. How often do you see that? I mean, even unlimited, it's very, very difficult. So Fiber Jar PSA 10, that's pretty cool. 
even in an unlimited a PSA 10 LOD, you know, it's just LOD is always off centered and that one somehow wasn't. So I sent it in. Let's keep going. PSA 9 on Dedication of the Light and Darkness. That's an unlimited original print. Let's see about the next card. Can we get some more tins? Oh, Graceful Die. There's no way this thing wasn't super clean. You can see like every mark on these. I don't even know. Like how? Because on these are so like shiny on the surface. Like if there's any sort of like sm like smudge or scratch, it's so visible. So maybe I somehow missed one and it was really visible to them. I don't know. But that seems weird. Maybe there's like a... A bend would be a six, though, so it couldn't be a bend. Maybe a corner issue. Who knows? Nine on the skull dice. Come on. These were so clean. Oh, that's a bummer. Bummer, bummer on the Eternal Duel of Soul. Next one. I think we had the other one, too. Oh, or a Red Dragon Archfiend Collector 10 PSA 10. Check out that secret rare. Whew, that is nice. Check that out. That is so beautiful. Oh, my goodness. That is an awesome looking card. Red Dragon Archfiend PSA 10. I'm hyped about that one. I think I need to scoot these over a little bit. They're kind of getting in my way. Maybe I'll scoot them that way. That didn't really help. I'm going to try this way. Uh, I'm going to go off this. No, we'll keep them back there. I can I can deal with it. I can deal with it. Okay, it just, I just keep bumping into them. Let's see. Creator first said 9. That would have been sweet as a PSA 10. It's a very cheap, like, Ultra, but in PSA 10, it's probably pretty sweet. Uh, next card. Oh, we got the 9 on the Ulti. Oh, nice pendulum. Oh, that would have been sweet. Oh, that would have been sweet. I think this is one I pulled literally like years ago and I pulled it out of my binder. I was like, you know what? Let's try it. Let's see if it gets PSA 10. Fortunately, got a nine. That was a sweet card. Uh, ooh, oh, oh, this is the Pokemon card. I think this is the Magneton. It kind of looks newer though, so I'm not sure. No, okay. This is the newer Champion's Path one I had set aside for a while. Got a nine somehow. P a Pokemon new card got a nine. That's unfortunate. Okay, rest of the cards. Check the back. A little smudging. It's probably just on the case. Dust Tornado 9, that is a PSV. Unfortunate, not bad. Next car, a little scuffing on the back. Uh, Fire Princess first ed, PSA 9. Uh, saw a little scuffing there, that makes sense. Okay, 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 okay. Let's see, what about you? You're not seeing much on the back. Uh, Mirror Wall Gem Mint 10 from Pharaoh Servant. That's nice. Okay, PSA 10 on limb. A lot of these are cards that we pulled out of unlimited packs, and I'm like, you know what? They're super clean, let's send them in. They're not gonna be like crazy money because they're not first ed, but I mean, PSA 10 PSA 10. Judgment, judgment, no, Curse of Anubis, different card, PSA 9, Curse of Anubis. Back looks pretty clean there. Oh, Aqua Neos, we're having great luck with the Ultras. We are back with another one. Aqua Neos from Power of the Duelist First Dead, PSA 10. Still several cards left. I'm liking this, make sure you check out Ruxin34.com if you're interested in any of them or anything in general from me. That's where I'm selling basically everything now. My TCG's player store has been off for a while. It might stay off because honestly, like $1 cards were taking up so much time and you know, you end up doing like $3 order and you're like, was that really worth like, you know, the 10 minutes it took to pack up? Probably not. So I mean, probably didn't usually take 10 minutes, but between all the orders, it's like you print off all the invoices, you know, do all the envelopes because I did envelopes handwritten. Yeah, so I might stay off and it might, if I turn it back on, it might become higher end only, but then I'll just use my website, so maybe not. Okay, so ulti first at oh, legendary black belt got the nine. That would be pretty cool to get a PSA 10. Really, the ulti is looking shiny there. I like it. Okay, yeah, and because I'm so busy with both uh, Ruxin, Pokerux, uh, the Twitch stream, selling on my regular website, consignment for people like the big uh, consignment we've been doing with the huge collection. I just don't have as much time for TCG player. Okay, uh, spell stopping statue nine. Man, those looked good. The next one, yeah, that uh, this one has the indent, so it's getting a nine, I think. Oh, an eight, yeah, okay. If it's that bad, eight. Junk Berserker, we pulled that too. That sucks. Uh, back, little scuff, but that's on the case. Oh, this one was so clean. This one was so clean and the problem is it's just not very expensive so it's like not really worth regrading but maybe i'll hang on to it and regrade it at some point in the future that's tough because that one was super super is the centering off let me check the centering maybe slightly pushed down is there a little i'm not seeing any edge wear there's a little like whitening across the edges but that usually doesn't make a difference so man pretty clean card oh my goodness uh let's see we have oh yeah ancient gear golem this one i was pretty sure was a psa 10 we pulled this one super clean we've had great luck with the ultras honestly the centering is not perfect but between 60 40 it's definitely gonna hang on all right next one we're doing pretty good let's see Destiny board oh the first ed the first ed gets the nine that's unfortunate okay so cool few cards left we are doing overall pretty good I and mean, we've got some really good cards uh level limit area that's unlimited okay psa nine uh but some of these clean cards i feel like should have gotten 10 but that's okay back that looks really good and eight okay 
Bag looked great. Uh, maybe, you know, front and garden, you never really know. The quality control is whack. So maybe the edges were a little off or something like that. Uh, yeah, it's really hard to grade Piranha Guardians. So if you get a PSA 10, congrats. It's like LOD. It's very tough. Uh, Time Wizard EN PSA 9. Ouch. Ouch. PSA 9. Nice card. EN original 2004 print-ish. Maybe 2005. Uh, only four more cards here. Let's try to get another 10. Oh, Barrel Dragon. This is like a 2010 reprint, I think. Not 2017, even though it just says reprint. This is a 2010 reprint. Just so you know, if you buy it on Ruxo34.com, got a PSA 8. Right out of the pack, pretty sure. Think that I think I pulled that when we did uh, every Legendary Collection. You can go back and watch the video. Every Legendary Collection get video, go watch it, and uh, you'll see if I pulled it or not. But I'm pretty sure it was out of the 2010 one. Uh, wait, did we do a 2010 one? Huh, maybe it wasn't there. It was 2017. It looks like a 2010. I don't know. Okay, let's keep going. Uh, Plague Wolf PSA. This is ending in a sad way. Two, two cards left. Can we get one more 10, please? Let's see. Oh, an original guy. I had this for a long time. We pulled this a long time ago. Apparently a PSA 8. We got a lot of eights. This is rough for like a lot of pulled cards. I don't have a lot of faith, but a PSA 10 end, it would be fantastic. A PSA 9. That would have been a sweet PSA 10. Cyber Dragon straight from the 10. Centering's definitely off on that one, so that's that should have been a 9. But overall, we did get a lot of really nice 10s, but we didn't get a lot of them. Like percentage-wise, we probably got... 25% 10s, 20% 10s, something like that. So if you guys enjoyed it, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. If you want to see more PSA returns, go check out the uh, playlist on the screen. And don't forget to check out Ruxin34.com if you want to purchase any of these or any other things I have listed to help support the channel, and I appreciate it. Shout out to Tone Info Show, Puff and Zudum, Ernesto Dan, America Deutscher, KK Beats, Nutter Side Show, Ian Moose, Junior Barning, Robert F., Thomas McLean, Chang Lang, and Aldelso Galicia Jr. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.